Hi, this is Roger with CablingPlus.com. Today I want to show you how to install the double bubble F compression connector, part number DB6U. This is what it looks like. The nice thing about it is it has a green ring that tells you that it works with RG6, RG6 quad shield. If this were a F connector for RG59, it would have a red ring on it. This one has a green ring. The next thing you have to do is you have to have a good stripper. The stripper has to be able to cut the center conductor to a quarter inch in length and expose a quarter inch of the braid. And then of course you need the tool. This is the only tool that allows you to install a DB compression connector. It is our CPL CRB-C. So the first thing you want to do is grab your RG6. And the RG6 has a 60% braid. You want to install it into, insert it into the stripper. Turn the stripper several times forward, a couple times back, and pull off the excess. You're going to expose the center conductor. You have your quarter inch of center conductor exposed. And then you want to fold back the braid. I like to install a piece of Velcro uh, on my stripper or you can simply do it back with your fingers. The Velcro uh, helps you pull back the braid and the main thing you want to make sure is that you don't have any of the strands touching the Skinner conductor. If you do, you'll short out the cable. So once you're sure that you have all your braid pulled back, the next thing you want to do uh, is to clean the dielectric and the foil, smooth out the foil to make it easier to install into the cable. This particular stripper has a little tool built right onto it to allow you to do that and to open up the opening to the cable. And you can see how I've smoothed out the foil. Once that is done, what you want to do is grab the connector and salt the center pin right into the back end and then push the cable until the center pin is exposed. And you can see that it butts up against the di white dielectric. Once you're sure that you have the tool or the connector installed correctly, you grab your tool and you have to insert the die that comes with the tool for your F connectors and you also use this die for your RCA connectors. So in this case I've got the die installed into the tool as you can see. The next thing you do is you pull back the jaws, insert the cable into the die, release the jaws, make sure they go forward, then simply clamp down on the tool to complete the compression. The nice thing about this connector is that, hopefully you can see this, if you look at the back end of the connector, it, it forms a what we call a 360 seal. And then inside, you also have another seal, which completes the double bubble connection. This is going to assure you long life, it's going to minimize corrosion, and give you high quality pictures. We thank you for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about our connectors or other professional grade products, please check out our website at cablingplus.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.